Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another very cold, very brisk, and very windy evening in the garden. Uh, Gail is in a temper about something, and she's been blowing 40, 50 mile an hour winds all day long. So I'm very happy to be inside with the doors closed and a couple of different hoodies on. <laughs> but I wanted to paint, and we're going to do something really cool, I hope, tonight. Let's get started, and I will show you what I'm using. First of all, this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my Liquitex, I'm sorry, with the Golden's Turquoise Thalo. And I do that because I don't want a lot of transparency on the sides. I want this opaque color underneath whatever happens to get tilted off over the sides. And this I find does a really nice job just using a little bit of paint straight from the tub. And I have just gotten these lovely little two inch foam wedge brushes from Amazon. They come in a pack of 40 and they're pretty inexpensive. So that was a lot of fun. Okay, so colors. Very excited about this palette. First of all, we are using that that golden, I keep saying Liquitex, <laughs> that golden turquoise thalo, gorgeous lusciousness. Tonight we are using Liquitex gloss medium and Floetrol as our pouring medium. This color is just amazing. <laughs> this is like happiness in a cup. It really is. Paint is pretty thick, leaving a mound on a mound before it sinks into itself really quickly. Perfect. Okay, that's the turquoise halo. We are also using this wonderful creature. Woo. This is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold from Golden and a little bit of Arteza's Pearl Marmalade combined. So I guess this would be marmalade, marmalade as a gold. <laughs> very pretty, very shimmery and sparkly. Beautiful, beautiful color. I'm excited about this one. Okay. And then we are using Bordeaux Red from Amsterdam. The last of my last little pouch of it. Which I actually do love these pouches because you can literally get every single last little bit out of there. It's like, with your thin. <laughs> so this is the Bordeaux Red from Amsterdam. Gorgeous, luscious color. My sweet friend Sarah Mack uses this color a lot. It's kind of like her signature color. Very cool stuff. I love that. That's the Bordeaux Red. And I think that those two are going to do beautiful things together. And then we have our usual suspects. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And the Satin Enamels with some Amsterdam Titanium White. And this one is actually, uh, has some opal glitter medium in it, which is why I see little bits in there. Um, this is from a pour that you guys will see for our Mardi Gras Bling It On Parade, which is gonna be a lot of fun. That one's gonna be uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday of this week. And I will post for you on the community tab who everybody is pouring and what time and all that good stuff. So, okay, so for a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas, we need about 25 ounces of paint. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna use two cups. These are 16 ounces each. So that would be about 12 ounces per cup, 12 and a half ounces per cup. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start with a little bit of, actually I'm going to start with the turquoise in the center. And then a little bit of gold. Looks like there's not as much in this one as the other ones. And then some gold. And then a little bit of white. That was not a little bit, but that's okay. And then we're going to come into that marmalade nickel azo gold combination. Okay, and we're going to get some Bordeaux red in there on the other side of that marmalade azo gold. Such a beautiful color. Now, I don't want to put the turquoise right next to the red. So we're going to use a little bit of gold in there. And then we're going to come in with the turquoise. Okay, now we're going to do that again. 
gold. That's probably enough, but I want to put one more layer of turquoise on there also. We are going to do is wandering straight pours with maybe a ring pour at the end so we'll see but I am going to take my 24 karat gold and we're going to do a runway pretty much from corner to corner and the purpose of that is twofold first of all it gives our paint something to slide around on. And second of all, as it stretches out and becomes very, very thin, it allows little gold cells to pop up for us. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I could do this one of two ways. I could go this way and then have, and go about halfway and then have the other one come and meet it in the middle. Or I could go parallel to each other. Go parallel opposite? favor one half this way and then turn around and do the same thing. Okay, well let's make our club a little gold thicker then. That's pretty just by itself. <laughs> Dive her down. Okay, are you ready husband of awesomeness? Yes ma'am. really pretty. Wow. That Bordeaux in there is just amazing. Yay. Okay, slight change of game plan. We're not going to go parallel. I guess I'm going to go that way, that way. Hey, you got to go roll with the punches, baby. All right. Round two. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Okay. Get that off. 
All right. Now for a blow extender, I have paint that I scraped off my table with the last pour that I did, which is kind of a slaty blue color. I think what I want to do though is just kind of go around this edge, both sides with the turquoise blue first. Just so we don't lose that detail. Now we're going to use this flow extender, which should be slightly thinner than the rest of the paints. Okay, gosh, that's so pretty. Wow. Just that Bordeaux and the gold sparkling next to each other with that pearl marmalade in there is amazing. Okay. So lots of fun stuff happening this weekend. Like I was saying earlier, the Bling It On Parade for Mardi Gras it's happening on Saturday and Sunday and on Tuesday and that's I think it's like 18 or 19 amazing artists it's a really good lineup so it's gonna be a lot of fun and let's see what else Sarah Mack is having her auction I believe Sunday evening okay now torch this Pop these air bubbles. Oh wow. See all of this HOA? That's so pretty in there. Super fine fingerlings, just gorgeous. I love there's your HOA flames, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Lee and Jeremy did an eight foot by four foot canvas today. It was so beautiful. And he had Torchy out. Torchy looked like a big lighter. <laughs> okay, so this is really cool. And hopefully the weight of the paint is pretty much in the center because we poured each cup from the end. So what we're gonna do, because I actually like what's happening in the center. The I mean, I love these. I don't know, we're gonna, okay, let's tilt this. Enough talk, let's tilt. I'm just gonna find the way to paint. And this one, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm not gonna tilt it a lot because I don't wanna mess up those lines. I'm moving now. Nice and pretty. I wish I'd used some of the turquoise as a base coat instead, as the flow extender instead of this drips. But that's well, that's why you need to tilt that up anyway, right? Well, if I had turquoise as a base coat, then I wouldn't have to tilt it all. Well, just because I don't want to tilt off some of this good stuff, which just went off just then. Did you see it? Yeah. Take this back to the center. Let's see the color of the flow extender moving off. Line. 
So I'm not happy with what happened. I shouldn't have tilted it. I should have just put more paint on those corners and called well enough good and left it alone. But since I did mess with it and I did move it around, now I've got all these wavy lines, which are annoying me. And I'm not happy about it. So I'm gonna tilt in one direction and hopefully the wavy parts will slide right off and what's left on here is actually going to stretch out and rather than do two we're just going to pour one more cup okay and i'm going to use a clean cup because i've learned that lesson okay oh, oh no i might have to mix up some more liquid all right let's do that on camera so you guys can actually watch all right I have, where is it, here it is. Liquitex Gloss Medium, decanted into a half gallon bottle. I'm gonna put about two ounces in there. And it stick, and my phthalo turquoise. Good size scoop. That's still probably Probably about an ounce of paint total. Mix that up real good. Always want to mix your paint with your binder first before you add the flow draw. Okay, this one just like thick paste. Take our flow draw. I did not need to mix up 16 ounces of paint, but so about 13, 14 ounces of paint, but that's okay. Get on the Water this one. And there we go. Okay. So, clean cup, we're going to start with the turquoise, and then did I use up all my gold too? <laughs> I'm going to put some gold on there, and then shot of white, Let's do this again. <laughs> Shall we? Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Here we go here. This my love, Semper Paratus. Here we go. I think I'm gonna go a little higher up too. Here we go. Up, you can get a little lower, a little bit more control over your fingerlings. Okay. 
that's very pretty. You're getting that interesting green in there this time that we didn't have last time. That's okay. So we're gonna take this down a little bit and then move it around. And I'm gonna stretch it out though as we go. Actually, I might just go off this side. pushing that old paint off, which is just fine with me. I do want to kind of bring it over to this way a little bit too, although I kind of like what's happening over there, so. I'm going to let some of that bottom edge go. I'm not going to try to get all that paint back up there. I'm going to go this way just a second. And for that corner, what I'm going to do is take the turquoise that's in my cup. I'm going to go right over this and I'm going to pull it over the edge. Let's take a look at this. 
There's a lot going on in here that's really, really, really cool. Okay. I'm gonna my hands up so we don't drip. Okay. This is awesome. Right here, that part is so beautiful with the, the turquoise where it hit the red, obviously and deepened up like that against the turquoise with that little bit of white and the marmalade. So pretty, and the gold. The gold is giving us a lot of shimmer. That turquoise in there is amazing. I'm still not crazy about that part, but I don't wanna take any more off. I probably could get more of that off, but then I would risk losing this composition and these really cool lines that are happening. Don't do it, not gonna do it, not gonna do it. <laughs> This is really pretty in here with the marmalade against the Bordeaux and a little bit of turquoise in there. I love this like very pretty stuff. Okay, this is cool. I like that bottom edge too. That's the only part that I don't like, but I'm 90% happy with what's going on here. So I'm just gonna leave this alone. We're gonna torch this. Really pretty. Can you see this? Like there's these itty bitty teeny tiny little lines in the end of that fingerling. Got some gold cells popping up there and there. And we'll probably get some more before we're done. But this is looking really cool. I like it. I like this whole part of it. I wish I could get rid of this strip. But that's okay. Because, you know, it's going to dry really awesome. And what your eye is going to see is the cool parts of it. So. This was really fun. Um, it's not gonna be dry in time to show you guys tomorrow on Wednesday, but I will show you a partially dry piece and then I will show you the dried result when it is dry. Thank you so much for being here with us, you guys. You guys mean so much to me and HOA both and uh, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing and thank you for all your lovely comments. You guys are the best. So we'll see you real soon. Do you think this is weird in here with that little bit of white in it? Should I pour more turquoise on top and just get pure turquoise there? Up here? Yeah, I don't like that. You don't like it? Okay. That's all right. That's all good. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us and hanging out with us while I'm playing. Lots of love to all of you. I'll see you soon. Okay, so you got little fractals. My gloves are too wet.
Okay, so this is the next morning. Obviously, it's not dry, but I did want to show you those colors in the sun because they're really pretty. <laughs> that beautiful marmalade, the Bordeaux, and the turquoise. I really like this part where it's darker, and I think that happened because I held the cup up higher and they blended a little more. Whereas in the first couple of pours, they didn't do that. You see that 24 karat gold blinging, and then we have our little fractally, which I didn't really like last night. After I did it, I was kind of upset, but I kind of love them now. Look how cute. <laughs> They're so cute. So, this one's 22. <laughs> and I will show you when it's dry in the next video or the one after that. Thank you so much for being here and hanging in there with me. And, you know, those of you who paint know that it doesn't always work the first time exactly how you want. But the important part is to keep going and to not give up and kind of go with the flow and see where it takes you. Because I do really love everything that's happening. Even that corner up there is pretty. So... This is awesome. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. What you got there? What are you doing? What is that? Tell me about it. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Baxter, are you a Rockweiler? Yes. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Can you turn around, please? And be careful of your toes, buddy. Yes, you tell that rock. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> oh, it almost got you there. Next. Oh, wow. <laughs> Baxi, you are too silly. You're a Rockweiler, huh? <laughs>